Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you episode number one of the trade and play to Borussia Dortmund. And as you can see up on screen, we're going to get started into this new series of mine where we will be playing and trading our way up to the Borussia Dortmund final team. And if you're probably new to my channel, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. So it's kind of like a road to glory. It's my journey progressing and aiming towards one specific team which is Dortmund and then we're going to be going after all the bronze players all the silvers and all the gold players and once we've done that then we're going to move over to another team so as you can see over there we start with a brand new account we're fresh out the bag pretty much we get ourselves a legend shot pack get gago and a couple consumables which we might need to use because i'm sure there's managerial tasks that we need to be doing and over there you can see yep yeah, there's a first task of 18 and what we're going to do is we're going to get started. And then look at that. We've got some lone players. We've got Zlatan, which we might be able to use. Uh, I think we're going to go through the rest. We've got Neymar, Ribery, and Quadrado. So I more or less want to use Zlatan or possibly Neymar. But uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Now, anyway, we're going to start off by looking for a few Dortmund bronze players. Because bronze players are the ones that we need to start with as we are, will be working our way through. And also, I would like to thank you guys ever so much for your support on the Trade to Arsenal series, which is my normal trade to a team. Um, it's just something I've been really enjoying at the minute, and uh, the trading side of it is just so awesome. And also your support, guys, it does mean absolutely a lot. So thank you ever so much, guys, in that one. And I believe there will be a video for the Trade to Arsenal out tomorrow, because today is Saturday. Uh, Sunday is when I'm scheduled the next uh, Trade to Arsenal. So episode 3 will be out tomorrow, and then another one of these videos... Uh, episode 2 of the Dortmund series should be out on Monday so I've got quite a little bit of a schedule going at the minute and then I'll pr try to bring back a couple player reviews as well. Now over there you can see we put a couple bids on a few Dortmund bronze players and I was trying to see if I can buy as many as I can with however many coins I had so you'll see I'm putting quite a lot of bids and trying to do a little bit of buying. Now Another question I think a couple subscribers would ask me is how come you're doing the trade and play and the trade to a team at the same time? Normally, don't you only focus on one? At the minute, I decided, you know, this year on FIFA, I'm going to go for both. And the reason being is I want to have one series that focuses a lot on trading, purely just trading, and the other one where it's going to be a higher value team and we focus on trading and playing because... We get to show you the game styles, um, changing your gameplay a little bit, a little bit up, and changing your game style, not gameplay. Yeah, game style up, and it just gives you a bit of a better idea into uh, how you got to think a little bit better in the game. I was initially going to do Bayern, but then I saw a couple other YouTubers doing. Well, I actually, saw one YouTuber doing Bayern, and uh, I was thinking about doing Chelsea or Manchester City, and then I saw another YouTuber trading to Aguero. So I decided, you know what? I'll go for Borussia Dortmund. It's one of the teams I enjoy and uh, on head-to-head -head seasons. And I really want to buy Marco Royce in the game. Marco Royce, um, Gundogan, and Hummels are the main players I want to use. And if you guys remember back in FIFA 12, if you were one of my subscribers from way, way back in the day, um, I used to use Ciro Immobile in my silver teams. And he, whenever he used to play, I think, at the time for Torino. And back then... He was one of the players I always used to suggest, you know, he's going to be an absolute awesome player. And now he plays for Borussia Dortmund. So that's exactly also another reason I wanted to use uh, Borussia Dortmund into the series. Now, over here, you guys see I'm up against a silver team. First game in Division 10, and the matchmaking is really poor in this game, I have to say. Just coming up against a silver side and a full silver Serie A side is not exactly something you want to be seeing straight away. Especially when you've only got two goal players in your squad but over anyway we're gonna go with it go in with power and uh yeah he didn't manage to find the target very well the keeper did make a nice save and then look at this one from nang he does use that pace and weaker foot well actually his left foot goes in over there finesses it off the post and makes it one nil into half time and if you look at the half time stats i've actually you know not been so much in this game. I don't know. It's just uh, the silver team overpowering and I think more or less shocking me. And look at this. He just breaks through, overpowered through ball, chips it on the first touch 
And maybe his left foot is his stronger foot. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to search that one up. But over the way, anyway, he made it 2-0 over there. And I thought, you know, there's no way of getting back into this game. But then Naismith just hits it over there with a the heel clicker, splitting the two defenders. And it was just a bit unlucky not to find the target or pretty much not find a goal over there. But uh, anyway, he goes through at 9 again. Gets his hat trick into the 88th, and that was exactly how the game did end. Not a very, not a very nice result for my first game into the series. But matchmaking again, it was. I would say it's down to matchmaking, but I'm still just getting used to a couple of players because we still don't have a full chem side. So went to do a little bit of trading, couldn't find any deals. So I said, you know, let's jump in a game because I need to get a video put together, especially for episode one. Need to have some coins to trade with to begin with. So come up against a very strong Bundesliga side and he does have Mkhitaryan, he does have uh, Aubameyang, he does have Ramos I believe it was and then also Sun and we do manage to get a goal back, look at that, equaliser finally, first goal for our club and it is Naismith and look at this from kickoff, he just goes, look at this pace from, uh, I think that's Aubameyang, was that Ramos, yeah that's, <laughs> that's Aubameyang, he was just going with those pace burners and over here he intercepts it with Jansen, gets it back with a 1-2 play with Aubameyang Gets a cross in over here, you're going to see in just a second. And look at this from Adrian Ramos. Look at that, he just overpowers my defender, but he is a bronze defender either way. So, anyway, that's besides the point. But look at this, we get through with Naismith again. Finesse shot and a great save by, I believe it was Weidenfeller. And then over here, we hit the crossbar, and that thing literally rattled the crossbar. It could have been a beautiful goal, and it would have been very, very uh, a strong play from us, especially against the gold side, pulling up and uh, almost equalizing and probably taking over the play. But Aubameyang again, this guy is going to be insane, especially I can't wait to get him in my team because if you've got a player like him on one side, Royce on the other, and Ramos in the middle, uh, your opponents are going to struggle to defend against them because this game is pretty much pace-oriented. And look at this from Naismith, nice skill run, and he hits the post over there. just thought, you know, let's do a bit of dribbling and... Just try getting our way through all the players. But over here, Forte just doing a bit of um, bit of holding it up. And then it goes to D'Angelo. Very nice touch for a bronze player. And he does send it into the back of the net over there to uh, get us a little bit back into this game. But a very quick 1-2 play. And this is one thing I found this game. Whenever I got one up on my opponent, uh, he would get one back on me. And that's exactly what he did with Adrian Ramos over there. And at halftime, it was 4-2. So six goals in the first half. Insane first half over there. And you can see, I had more possession. I felt, you know, dominated shots a bit better. But uh, that's just how it is sometimes. And look at this over here. Forte is just going to go all the way towards goal as quickly as we can from kickoff. A bit of one-two play with Naismith. Back into him. And... Uh, yeah, that's just how simple it is. You just got to play a little bit of uh, tiki taka, and uh, well, I like to call it tiki taka. Just a bit of one-two passes and uh, go on to goal. But look at that, Abamyang again with the pace, splitting the defenders, and. I need to really, I think I need to buy a goal defender just to solidify my defense a little bit. But a nice free kick over there that uh, really didn't uh, didn't do too much. But uh, nonetheless, it was quite nice. And over here, Ramos getting a bit lucky, gets the deflection back, and he makes it 6-3. And I was getting decimated in this game. It was it was a disaster, this game. I have to be honest, guys. It was uh, not exactly something I'd call too pleasant. But over here, Forte, you can see him. He's going down, and we're getting chased down by Felipe Santana. And he's on a yellow card, so I was trying to get him red card with the ball or drag back, but he decided to back away, and uh, a nice finish from Forte over there to give us, well, give us a goal back and keep us a little bit uh, of our heads held high from that game, so nonetheless, guys, we got it done by EA's matchmaking, but uh, four goals against a goal team, uh, and I'll take that any day, so not too bad, we didn't start the series too well on a high, but we got some coins over there, 900 coins, and in the next episode, I'm going to start doing some big trades, so hopefully we can get into some big profits. But nonetheless, this is my tick list, which we'll have at the end and the beginning of each video, and you can see that we have updated the bottom four players we signed in the video. So if you have enjoyed, guys, by all means, please do drop it a like, it is always appreciated. Subscribe if you're new for more daily FIFA 15 content, and this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you all for the next video.